How you doing YouTube? Silver Joker here. I hope everybody's having a wonderful evening. Okay, so this is an unprecedented opportunity that came my way today. While I was down at my local coin store uh, buying some silver, making a video for you guys, a guy walked in with all of this constitutional silver that he wanted to sell. Uh, and Phil was gracious enough to let me uh, film the entire process. So I'm going to share that with you guys in this video. It's um, access that you wouldn't normally get, that you don't see too often. And the fill allowed me to film this process. So I found it very interesting. I think you will too. So if you're interested in any of that, stick around. So like I said, this guy brought in a ton of silver while I was there, a ton of 90%. He didn't bring any three nines or anything like that. It was all 90%, all um, constitutional silver or junk silver. And um, he wanted to sell it to Phil. And I asked Phil if he wouldn't mind if I, um, if I filmed this process. And he didn't have a problem with it at all. He said if, as long as the um, customer didn't mind and he didn't have a problem. It was a few stipulations that I didn't you know, show any faces or we talked about exactly how much uh, was spent. Uh, but other than that, um, you know, I had pretty much access to everything that went on. So I'm going to share that with you guys today. So, um, you know, without any further ado, let's get into that. Yeah. Well, that is, that's nice. I like that. Uh, I'm trying to make sure. I That'd be great. I think sometimes people <laughs> people somehow think you just go to the back room and pull more silver right. out. Right. You know, this is how it comes in. This is fantastic. In with it and they bring it in bags, or you know, they bring it in handfuls, or they bring it in rolls, or they bring it in uh, different ways, and yeah, it gets so. counted and paid for, and then we wait for somebody to come in and buy. Is this it. you? Uh, yeah. Um, it's it's right. probably all going to be me. <laughs> Here, I want to sell this too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Look at that. That's awesome. And all this came in while today staying. while I was staying here, while I was uh, talking to Phil. This came in, people. So this is how it works. Uh, yeah, and contrary to popular belief, we do not have a minting machine in the back of the store. <laughs> well, sometimes I wish you did. <laughs> well, I tell you what, do you want to do the silver? Then if he wants to take them, he can do it. take it right now. Yeah, we can do that if do you'd that? like yeah. to do that. Um, yeah, because this okay. is pretty much easy. Yeah, I, this, I mean, I don't want to. I want to box you in. Is on. this anything? Those are sterling silver. Are and they? They usually come with a. Um, they usually come with a little microscope, well, not a I little that. uh, eyepiece okay. that you look at in. Um, in a box, they usually come in a blue box. Was there like a little blue <laughs> box? It was in and this little black and red You're box. supposed to take these out and put them individually in this little box that has little holes cut in it. Um, one of those little felt blue boxes. But, um, yeah, it is sterling. Okay. All right, get your, get your calculator. I'll tell you what my numbers are. Yeah, what was fascinating to me in this whole process, and I wasn't aware of it, didn't, take in, uh, didn't even think about, was the detail that Phil... Uh, put into scrutinizing these coins when they come in. I mean, he really scrutinizes these coins. Um, you know, he looks for every tiny little detail in there. And I never, I never realized he put that much into um, selecting the coins or determining the value based on um, his scrutiny. I mean, he looked at these coins. I mean, and, and uh, he, he gave the guy a fair deal. I mean, the, the guy was happy with, um, you know, Phil's offer. Um, and, you know, he explained everything. I mean, Phil was real clear about why he was offering what he was offering. He even showed the guy in some of the detail on some of the coins why I mean, it was even a little more than what he was actually asking for. And, um, you know, I wish I could have let you guys hear that, but they were talking about price, and um, I agreed not to, uh, not to include the price in the uh, video. Uh, but, you know, just to see this whole process to me was just so fascinating. Uh, and every, the time that they took, the seller and Phil, uh, the time that they took 
and you know going over the price and and talking about the condition of the coins and all this kind of stuff was just I mean it's just so refreshing and so eye opening and it gave me a whole new perspective on you know the value of uh, constitutional silver when I go to buy it. Buy foreign foreign silver. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, buy the silver. The other oh, stuff we buy by the pound, that this, doesn't look like silver. Really. That's not silver. This was. No, that's not silver. This is silver. Okay, so if we could start with this, I'll make the numbers. Uh, that's not silver. Nice. Here it is. Here it is. All this, you can have it. So this yeah, I don't want to get too heavy on the uh, um, the politics. Politics, of, <laughs> yeah. you know, silver, and then you know, obviously, that's the thing with politics. You put it in here, and it sticks, and then it goes to something else, and that's the thing. That it, politics absolutely. gets you, you know, t it pulls you into. Um, making a decision on what to do with a lot of things, and, and I'll tell you what, you can um, politicians like it because then it's a form of control. Yeah, and like I say, the less government in your life, I think, is better. Okay. What about Indian head pennies? Key dates. Real key dates. Seventies. In the seventies. Hey, buddy. Thanks. Look at these. These are uh, calls. I think in, in, in head. But they're better dates. Or? No, no. I'm, I'm just gonna get through this. <laughs> I mean, do you have any interest in that? Not really. Yeah, well, I tell you what. Let me have back. I'll just yeah. give them the. Net I was gonna say. Good yeah, they're all bent. They're bent. Um, and then the last. I don't know why he had this. Is that a special date? 69 Yeah. I mean, they're BU old uh, prices. Are they all BUs? Uh, I don't. Like 69 S in the sense is. Uh, this will give you an idea. Maybe what? A dollar twenty. <laughs> Uh, 59D. 59D is $1.50. 60. 68S. 68S is $1.20. And 60. Is that what you're buying them for? Uh, Four fifty six, People knew pennies were worth more than a penny. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> the better one. I mean, the, you know, yeah. the nice ones. That you can see they're not worth a whole lot more, but yeah. Sixty-three twenty-five. 
get the shit out of that bust half. Get that nice and shiny. Bring it in. I think a burler pad too. I'm really shiny. I, yeah, I use a scroll pad. <laughs> I like that swirl. Oh my god. Yeah, 36 is the one you want to have in the uh, without the uh, motto. Yeah, without the motto because it's got the reeded edge. And those are that coin would probably be a thousand. Uh, Lot to think about. Lot to think about now. <laughs> I can't believe my wife hasn't called me yet. I already called her. Oh, well. be delayed. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you call her, she Warriors, already. Guns and money. <laughs> Down the fills, coins. Better shot. believe that. I felt like Michigan last night trying to add this up here. <laughs> well, if you call her, she's she's making the couch up for me right now. All right. Well, I'll tell you right now, it was extremely hard to leave any of that silver there i wanted it all every ounce of that i wanted every single one of those um those uh, constitutional silver coins i wanted but my budget would not allow it so i bought wound up getting 60 of these uh, i was gonna buy the bag with 70 in it but these are in very good condition so i bought uh, 60 of these um morgans and peace dollars here and they were they're just in great condition and uh, maybe i'll do a video and i'll show you guys this in a little more detail uh, but this video has gone on a little bit longer than I wanted to already. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video with this one and show you guys some of the um, some of these in a little more in detail. And the conversation that uh, went on between Phil and the seller there was a, there's a lot more to that as well. And maybe I'll go and pick through that and see if I can come up with a little bit more um, more dialogue there that I can share with you guys. But you know, this things run so long uh, that I had to edit it down uh, just for time. But anyway, you know, uh, that's what it's all about. You know, silver comes in. Um, you're not going to be able to, you know, a, a bullion, uh, a local coin store seller can't just get on the phone and say, you know, send me, uh, you know, 100 peace dollars or 200, you know, uh, Franklin halves or whatever. I mean, because they're not made anymore. So the majority of the, the constitutional silver that comes in, comes in. It comes in from private sellers just like today. And I was extremely lucky to be there. Uh, when I was, because I guarantee you that silver's going to go. It's going to go quickly. Phil's going to be on the phone. He's going to be calling all the people that he knows that are interested in constitutional silver, and they're going to come down there and they're going to buy it. But like I said, I mean, I wanted more of that, but I do have a budget. I have other things that I have to do uh, with my finances beyond just investing in uh, silver bullion. Uh, so I had to, I had to limit what I could do. Also, I did go a little bit over my budget to buy this uh, for the month. But, um, you know, we're only four days into the month, so I've already um, overshot my budget <laughs> a little bit. But, you know, that's okay. You know, as long as we're putting silver in our stacks, that's really all it's about. Okay, so I don't want this video to go on too much longer. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the, the dialogue and, and the, um, the uh, transaction that went on there. I wish I could have let you guys hear a little more of the audio. Uh, but, you know, there's certain things that are, that's got to be kept private for obvious reasons. Uh, but, you know, that was a great transaction. I learned a whole lot. Got a new perspective on how silver is comes into the shop, how it's scrutinized, how it's it's uh, it's sold, how the prices are determined and that kind of thing. And that was just so fascinating to me. And uh, hopefully we'll do more of that in the future. Anyway, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. Ring that bell. You'll be notified as soon as I put out another video. And uh, I'm on Instagram, so if you want to go and visit me there, I post videos from time to time there. Well, I post pictures from time to time there in, uh, in comments. And yeah, you maybe consider sharing my video. You know, share with those people you think are interested in this type of subject. And, um, you know, let's just keep the silver train rolling. I mean, we, we are rolling. There ain't nothing going to stop us. No matter what adversity comes our way, we're going to deal with it. And we're going to keep right on moving forward. That's why this is a train. Nothing stops a train. A train stops when it wants to stop, uh, period. So anyway, if you got to go outside, wear a mask. It's that important. Uh, you're not doing it for yourself. You're doing it for the people around you. And, you know, let's just look out for each other and just, you know, just do what we got to do to keep doing what we have to do. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.
Ha, 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 ha.